Okay, so wiring LEDs. That's fun. It's actually not as hard as it sounds. Okay, so I used a LED strip. Okay, I'm gonna start with the battery pack thing because a lot of people asked how I power them. At first, I had a rechargeable battery, but I tested it out to see how long it lasts. It only lasted like two hours. So I switched over to double A's. That, that was really enthusiastic. <laughs> so I gotta put batteries in this before I do anything because it won't work if it doesn't have batteries in it. Okay, it's not getting batteries. It's not cooperating. Yeah, the battery packs I bought are really cheap and didn't come with screws. So the batteries don't like to stay in them. So I'm just gonna not turn the lights on when I wire it. Nice. I used AA batteries and they lasted me the entire day of the con and my skirt still lights up. So they last a long time. So to wire them, it's pretty simple actually. So you've got a red wire and a black wire. And they usually have some exposed at the top when you first get it. And you need a wire stripper thing. This thing. It takes the like plastic coating thing off the wire. And you, you just like, you stick the wire in there and you go like that. And it rips it off. See? I'm going to need to do that to both things, obviously. And this one's already stripped, but I'm going to strip it even more. Because I like stripping. Stripping's fun. No, it's not. I'm going to fold the wire. I'm going to fold it down. And wrap it in electrical tape. Yeah. And then just, just wrap it. See, and now they're all twisted, and if my battery pack had batteries in it, it would turn on right now. But we're not done, because you're going to wrap both of those in electrical tape, just to be safe. And that's a really bad wrap, but it's just an example, so look at that. that, that that's really bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. It should not look like that. But if it looks like that, it'll work anyway. So that's basically it. <laughs> And if you need if you need the battery pack to be farther away from the LEDs, which you do for the skirt, you just buy some wire and do the same thing. It's really simple. So my cyber skirts have wires all around the edge of the skirt and underneath. I, uh, I'm, just, I'm just gonna show you. Oh, this is like dead. This still has the same batteries in it from the con, so they're pretty much dead. But it has LEDs around the edge of it and underneath for that pretty underglow. And my the fabric for the skirt is a little over 9 feet long, which sounds like a lot, but pleats take up a lot of fabric. So you're going to need a lot of LEDs. <laughs> and they have a self-adhesive backing. So they just stick on there, but just to be safe, I sewed little loops. Can you even, can you see it? Is there a loop right there? Where's the loop? There's a loop. I sewed loops around the LEDs to ensure that they won't fall off. The LEDs in the skirt are actually really simple. Just make sure that you do everything on the skirt, all the triangles and the LEDs before you pleat it. Because doing it while it's pleated makes it ten times harder, trust me. Now this part is optional, you only really need it if you want the underneath of your legs to grow more, to, bleh, to glow more. But for my Cyber Nico, I added a LED hoop underneath my skirt, which lights up my legs and makes the skirt a little poofier. And this is, this is probably the easiest thing to make. I literally had this like belt thing. It's really ugly. I just sewed ribbon onto it and wrapped them around a hoop that I had lying around. I added LEDs to the inside of the hoop. It lights up my legs and floofs up the skirt more. So that's optional. It doesn't really light up the skirt itself, but you can do it if you want it to be brighter. So for the floofy underneath petticoat thing, 
I actually didn't make the petticoat. I just bought it on eBay and altered it. But when you do uh, either make or buy a petticoat, make sure it's one that has all that floofiness underneath because that's the real point of the petticoat is to have that little floof. So make sure it's not like some, so make sure it's not just like all tool. Make sure it's all floofy. And I'll put the link to this petticoat in the description. So if you want that exact petticoat, you can do that. So the bows are made out of clear vinyl. I actually didn't, didn't buy like by the yard vinyl. I literally had like vinyl circle skirts that I had lying around and I cut them up and used them for that. So these I didn't do any sewing on. They're a mess of hot glue and hope, but they still look good. I literally used the a strip of the fabric I used for the that stuff. I had a ton of leftover triangles, so I just hot glued those on. And for the Nico bow, I used the shiny focus. I used the shiny silver fabric I used for the triangles. Added a strip of rhinestones because that's what it looks like. And for the Nozomi bow, I actually prefer this. This is this is really bad because I rushed it. But I did a whole triangle of the fabric and added the rhinestones instead of the fabric because I forgot to bring the fabric. But I actually like how this one looks better. So you, you choose whatever one you want. They attach to the back of the shirt with a hook and eye. It just has a hook and eye on it. And the back of it, the back of the shirt has the eye part of the hook. Because I tried attaching it to the skirt, but it just weighed the skirt down. So I ended up putting it on the shirt. Now my Nico phones were actually bought from, oh, what's it called? Um, Syndrome store. I'll link their shop if you don't want to make your own headphones, but I, <laughs> my first attempt at making my Nico headphones was an absolute disaster, so I ended up just buying them, but it actually probably would have been easier to make them myself, because I ended up like tearing them apart and adding lights into them, because I didn't like how dull they were. And I added a heck ton of rhinestones on them, and they're super pretty. And the camera does not do it justice because they're so sparkly. <laughs> and I added rhinestones around the headphone as well. But other than that, this is how they came. The lights I added to my Nico headphones are actually for like floral arrangements. I use those because they have a really small battery pack that could fit behind the ear. And I just painted it black and they're super bright. I'll turn one and one off. Just a hope right there. See, they're super bright. See, that's what they look like on. I don't, I don't have any video of what they looked like before, but just take my word for it that this is really brighter. So I made all of Nozomi's headphones myself because I didn't want to buy those ones because I knew how to make them. Yeah, that's a great reason. The ear part is half of a styrofoam ball that I just cut in half. I used foam board for the inside of the ear. That part, that thing right there, that's a foam board and I just hot glued the ball onto it and hot glued that to a headband. I shoved the headband in between the ball and the foam board and put a heck ton of hot glue in there and it stayed. And for the headphones, th those are all foam board as well. It's two layers. Oh, well, it's really bright. I should, I should turn them off. You can't tell what it is. So that's two layers of foam board. I tested out like the lights on the paint for this part to see what it would look like with the purple lights on it. Because if they were just like regular purple, they turned out to be a lot bluer than I wanted. So I mixed a bunch of like pinks and purples together and got this and I liked how it looked. And the same as the Nico ears, the battery packs are in the back of these and they're really well hidden because they're black and that's nice. And they're super easy to turn on and off because it's just a switch. 
and I just painted on the flower thing. I don't even know what that is. I just painted it on and really simple and I added rhinestones to these and yeah. And I got these lights and like the Halloween section of a dollar store and it's out of focus. I got these lights in the Halloween section of a dollar store. So I can't guarantee that they're going to be there all year round. But if you can find the same lights, then cool. If not, you can use, still use the same lights I used in those. It'll just be a little different. And that's what they look like in the dark. The battery packs for the skirt are hidden um, in the hoop thing. Oh, focus. In the belt part of the hoop thing, I just sewed in pouches and stuck them in there. And yeah. So I hope that covers any questions that you had on how to make it. I hope it was helpful. Really hope it was helpful because there is no cyber tutorial anything out there. Oh my god. I did so much research. Nothing. <laughs> So I really hope this was helpful. If you have any questions that I didn't cover in this video, feel free to DM me on Instagram. I'm always open to questions. I'm always super happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you for watching this and supporting me so much. I love you and I'll see you in the next video.